I'm Viri Harinandani. Hi, I'm Namrata Tripathi. This is my book, The Night Diary. It's about 12-year-old Nisha, who has to leave her home during the partition of India. And during this time, she writes letters to her deceased mother in a diary as she navigates her journey as a new refugee. This story was certainly the hardest story I've ever written because I was I was holding so many different things. I was holding the story I came up with in my head. I was holding the actual history that happened. I was holding my family's memories. I was holding some bigger themes that I knew would resonate today. And even the more I wrote, the more I realized it was resonating in ways that surprised me. So I created Nisha. I wanted her to be sort of seen as a Hindu traveling in the direction that a Hindu would travel. But at the same time, I wanted to break through some of the bias. So I thought if, if Nisha had a Muslim mother and a Hindu father, um, she could, during this time, explore both sides to herself. Because that's the question I had when I would look at partition. Uh, why, why were all these people living together in a community and suddenly fighting. And she doesn't really know how different she is, in a sense, until she has to um, confront her identity. She never questioned that she had to kind of bridge these two halves of herself. And then when her, literally her country is split up, yeah. right. then you have to think where sense. does she belong? People who have survived partition, they don't always like to talk about it because it was such a painful experience in their lives. So my father was very young and his memories are very childlike, mm -hmm. which is why it made such sense for me to try to see this story through a younger person's mm -hmm. eyes because those are the stories that I heard. It was always this very compelling, frightening thing that my father went through mm -hmm. and I wanted to fully understand it and I never could just from talking to him. As an Indian who has a family history that is sort of mirrored in here, where my own family came from, and trying to create literature for readers that help them sort of awaken, find that part of themselves that is becoming aware of their their place in the larger world. And the story really did that, that it connects to history and it connects to something today, and that not just works on a historical level, but also in a contemporary level, mm -hmm. and allows a reader to be critical about the world we live in. You know, I'm from a Punjabi family, right. and so, you know, my side of family, the Punjabi side came from Northwest Frontier to right. Delhi and Partition. It's eye-opening to see Nisha's story, even for someone who feels like when I read it, there's so much in here that feels familiar. After you read the novel, there's there's so much food in it yes. that you're, you're moved by the story, but also... But you're hungry. But you're also <laughs> hungry. Whenever I would read a book when I was a child, and there was any kind of food happening in the book um, that somehow helped me remember that entire section of the book. Because I've had these two cultures in my family, when my father made Indian food, it was the only time he cooked. Mostly my mom cooked. So it was a, a, a way, the smells, the textures, all of it was a way for me to connect mm -hmm. with the Indian side of my family. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be a, a nice way for Nisha to express herself in a way that she didn't have to talk.